I mean, think about how much cured le leather we're going to be able to get out of that hide. We're going to be able to fix our gloves and boots and with no issues. Hopefully this is the point when we get back to Jeremiah's. Hopefully he's got a drying rack and this is the point where we can actually start making some cured leather and cured guts and make bows and and whatnot. Don't see a wolf this time either. It takes Can't more feel my feet. No, I've got enough sticks. If it's really important, I, I'm sure I'll be going there at one point or another anyways. So. Is the wind picking up or something? Is that why I'm losing my feet so quickly? Um, what time is it? See, I just... If I start getting woozy, I'll make a fire. But until that happens... I'm just gonna keep chugging along to Jeremiah's. So I'm not. I, it's the middle of the day. We should be alright. I mean, yeah, it's cold, but. Yeah, it's the middle of the day. Goddamn freezing. Really, hypothermia risk. Alright. Okay, there was recently a wolf here, apparently. I'm gonna see it over there. It's a, it's a calm day. It's a calm, sunny day. We should be all right. I mean, if my risk hypothermia gets high enough, then I'll make a fire, but it should be okay. I'll just keep checking it. 3%. We'll be, we'll be fine, man. We will be fine. I'm sure I already checked all this stuff on my way out there, so. Some more firewood, but I've got firewood. How much firewood do I have? Firewood. I got three logs. Yeah, I'll leave it. I'm, I don't know how long this game is, but I'm sure I'll be coming back here. What is that? Aha! Tomato soup. We didn't love some tomato soup. Cool. Yeah, I'm leaving coal. Some flares. I've got a couple flares. I'm gonna leave those. Scrap metal. Oh, bandage. I'll take that, though. <laughs> I'll take any bandage and antiseptic I can take right now. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. I'll make... Okay, I'm gonna go back to where those logs were and make a fire. So that way I can just pick them right back up. yourself a fire. Oh wait, this is 70%. Okay, so it's the same. Go ahead and start, man. It's been a while, I'm gonna jinx myself here, but it's been a while since we haven't successfully made a fire. But I've had all those books, which helps tremendously. See, I told you. I was going to jinx, my, jinx myself. Oh, we lost the tender plug, but we didn't actually lose the uh, firewood, which is good. But I can make I can make more tender plugs. I've got plenty of sticks to make more tender plugs if this one doesn't work. That's well, the uh, gambler's fallacy, but... Oh, man, this one should work. That's what I was about to say. Okay, craft, tender plug. Wait a minute. Oh, here we go. Craft, tender plug, out of sticks. Begin. Oh, man. Oh, 
we gonna have to me. sleep? This is gonna suck. I'm so cold. Okay. Warming up again. Still got a bunch of matches. I've got. I picked up a, another thing of matches. So we've got a ton of those. Don't have to worry about running out of matches. Come on, come on. There's one thing in this game is to give you plenty of matches. You never have to worry about running out of them. Oh, Are what the serious? fuck? Yeah, man, I'm right there with you. Are you serious? You've got like a 70% chance of starting this fire, and you've screwed it up three times now. Like, you're going to die if you don't make this one right. You understand that, right? Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, well, we're no longer <laughs> risk of hypothermia, I guess. That's... Because you don't actually have to have a fire started. Oops, okay. All right. Am I injured and I don't know about it? No, no afflictions. Okay, we'll just uh, eat and drink this and wait this one out, I guess, right? Seems weird that he's in such bad shape. Eat. Do you have another 880, 880, 880? Alright, well, let's cook this soup to pass time and then we'll eat it. up as well. What's the deal, man? <laughs> You're really not in that bad of shape right now. Should I throw... Alright, I'm going to throw another log on the fire. And then I'm going to pick a couple of these up. And then wait this out. time for an hour with the uh okay what what is going on i'm full on heat full on food and water why am i still like woozy like i i should be fine No afflictions. I don't know. I don't know what you need me to do. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want from me? I'll try sleeping. I guess. I, I don't know. Um, bedroll. Place. I'm only gonna sleep. I'll sleep for two hours because I don't want want to be walking in the middle of the night if I don't have to. Is that what all you need? You just needed to rest. Okay. Weird. Okay. So how much? Okay, I'm gonna pick up uh, another log. Actually, I'm gonna pick up two more two more logs. How am I doing on weight? Not not bad actually. All things considered. All right. <clears throat> what? Oh yeah, it's scrap metal. And barrels. Like pretty much useless. Oh, another thing. I could have made a fire in the barrel because I was in the. When I was in the train car, like on my way there, I could have just slept in there. Didn't even think, or, or made a fire in the barrel. Didn't even think about it. Alright. Who am I doing on, 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 
sticks. So let oh, I got more than enough sticks. <coughs> and there's wolf wolves plural up there. And you just kind of go around them. Stay off the ice, but go around them. I'm gonna save my sprinting. Like until if they like come after me. Okay, I think I'm far enough away that they're gonna leave me alone. Oh, that's a down tree. That looked like a cabin for a second, but that's just the roots of a tree. Okay, we're, we're in the clear. I'm running. There it is. <sighs> Jeremiah, I know it's been a long time, but we're back. Doesn't he have some rose hips out here? Hey, bunny. If there's anything we can put in here, um, I'm gonna take the ruined stuff. I'm thinking about why. I'm gonna take the ruined stuff and break it down for gold. Harvest, yes. Should probably do this inside, but it's not that cool. Okay, and yes, we're gonna harvest this as well because it is unfixable. Okay. I mean, I, I mean, if you look at that. God, I really need some cured leather. Like, we're not losing any temperature, so. All right, let's let's just head in. I'm just gonna head in. We'll sort all of our shit later. <laughs> well, you look like hell, Mackenzie. Thanks. I love what you've done with the place. Ha! I see you're an interior design critic now. You fixed my rifle? Yep. Found one of my own, too. Damn, not bad for a pilot. You're full of surprises. Maybe you can make it after all. Now what? I'm trying, man. I really need to get going. My friend is out there, and with all this wildlife on the loose, Whoa. Tell him you killed the bear. Slow down. A rifle will get you out of a jam, but survival's about what you know. And right now, <laughs> you don't know shit. What do you suggest? Books on tape? Dude. <laughs> Smart ass. No. What I suggest is Jeremiah's survival school. Yeah, the dude right in front of you who survives out here, who just lives one. out here. Let's see if we can keep you alive long enough to graduate. <laughs> survival lesson survival school I really don't have time for this right now yeah well you're gonna be dead if you don't so look you don't have a choice pal I've got this far with you without you trapper not with a blood hungry bear in here I killed the bear trust me Mackenzie you really want to find your friend there's miles of wilderness in all directions from here you'll never make it I'm listening I'll teach you what you need to know. And then, you'll have to do something for me. Kill the bear. That part goes without saying. You don't kill the bear, we neither of us get out of here alive. So is it a different bear? Because I killed a bear, dude. It must be a different bear. Survival lessons. Let's talk about some survival skills. What do you want to tackle? Ooh, fishing. Uh, Clothing. Alright. What do I need to know about clothing? It's damn cold out there, right? What you wear might make the difference between life and death. I mean, I already know all this. I'm listening. Wind or wet will kill you if you if you let it. Wear wind-blocking clothes on your outside layer if you can, and use natural shelter whenever possible. Okay. Wind will pick... Wind will drop your core temperature quickly before you know... Before you know it, you'll have hypothermia or worse. What about wetness? 
That one's obvious. You'll get wet from snowfall, falling through ice, whatever. In these winters, you'll get frostbite in no time. Wear waterproof clothing if you can, especially on your feet. If your clothes get wet, dry them out by a fire. Is that it? Almost. Think about carrying weight. The heavier the clo your clothing, the less food and other supplies you can carry without getting tired. And remember, <coughs> you want some tough layers to protect you from falls and animals, especially these days. It all makes sense. Great. Remember, though, it's not enough to have good gear if you don't take care of it. Needle and thread are your friends. I mean, this is really, we already know all this stuff. Keeping your clothing in good shape, it'll take care of you. Sacrifice any shitty gear you find to keep your better gear in action. Yeah, got it. Good. Now prove it. Take this old parka of mine. There's an old lookout tower just off the railway. You'll find some forestry service gear in there. Use this place to repair my old parka. I'm telling you, I understand about taking care of gear. The only way I know it is to do it, Mackenzie. Now get out there. I think this is th him saying it. But I've already done it, man. Should we do it? Like, I've already been to the lookout tower, and I've... Fine, I'll fix it for him. All right, I'll be back with your damn coat. Good as new. That's the spirit. Feels like a lot of gear. Okay, can I just do it here? Where's your parka? Jeremiah's bearskin coat. Actions. Cured black bear hide? Again, how do I... All right, man. I would drink almost anything about now. Talk to Jeremiah. Talk to Jeremiah. Okay. Chapter three, survival school. So, okay, you can talk to him. Did you see the lights in the sky again? Yeah, could hardly sleep, it was so bright. There's something different about them. Not like the usual aurora borealis. The lights, the aur aurora, seem to power things up. Lights, mainly. You sure? I didn't see anything like that. You have anything electrical in here? Nope. I'm off the grid for a reason. What reason is that? None of your business. The wolf seems scared of the light. Scared of the aurora? No, lights. Like, lights around buildings. They avoided the lights. You sure you haven't been that morphine pilot? Never mind. Man, I want to ask him how to cure leather. Poor suckers. When I was out there, I came across mention of the forest talkers. You know anything about that? Oh yeah, I know all about the talkers. What are they? Some kind of band or cult? They're eco-terrorists, man. Nothing like that. Eco-activists. Terrorists, some call them. They've been fighting for years against further exploitation of great bear. So, are they dangerous? Not usually. They spike the occasional tree, tie themselves to logging or mining equipment in protest. Don't think they'd ev they've ever hurt anybody, but I'm not really up to date on current events. So, terrorists, activists, which it, is it? It's up to you, man, to decide, yeah. Depends on your perspective, I guess. I try to stay out of politics. One thing's for sure, they've been doing a lot more than just talking lately. What do you mean? A few nights ago, heard a lot of shooting coming from the other side of the lake. Could have been hunters, I guess, but they aren't usually up this time of year. You think it was the forest talkers? No idea. For their sake, I hope they got the hell out of the area before things got shut down. It won't be good for them, with old bear out there, and angry. Wolves. Sure are a lot of wolves around here. Yeah, man. A ton of wolves didn't used to be that way. I told you before, something's stirring them up. Maybe a bear is not the biggest of our worries. You just stay focused on what I'm telling you. Watch out for the old bear. He's cunning as hell. Make a wolf look like a damn lapdog. Right. Wolves, they hate fire. Like most wildlife. Campfire will keep them away from you at night, most of the time. Improvise a torch if you have to. Flare will work too. You know one of those emergency ones for road uh, accidents? Sometimes, if you get lucky, even a stone to the head will scare them off. That'll be hard to do. And if I don't have any of those things, run. 
Then you wait until they're close and hit them with anything you can. Knife, hammer, hatchet, or your damn hands. And you don't stop hitting until one of you is dead. <coughs> There's a theme here, isn't there? Yeah. This is it. Fight if you want to live. It's more Hobbes than Darwin. What? Forget it. Way out. At some point, I'm going to need to get out of here and find my friend. Only one way for you to go, pilot. And that is... You want to get to Perseverance Mills? You got to pass through the guts of that dam. Doesn't seem possible. When I was there, the whole place seemed locked down. I bet when we could go down, when we could go downstairs, it, but like it was all blocked off and stuff. That's probably where we have to go. The parts that weren't falling down anyway. That may be, but it's still the only way to get where you need to go. Come on, tell me more. Not till I'm sure you can make it. Make it where? Through the dam. The dam and beyond. To the dam and beyond. Phone. I heard a phone ring in an old hunting lodge where I found the extra rifle. You know anything about that? Nah, but it makes sense. How so? Old phone lines don't depend on power like the new systems do. It's one of the many ways the old infrastructure is better than what we have now. Yeah, he's not, he's not wrong. I'm serious. Everything's so integrated now, so linked. It's a house of cards. One system fails, they all fail. Like, it's true, like radio, like radio waves. Like, and like TV, like before it all went digital, like it was incredibly efficient. Like they would put out a signal at one frequency and every TV and every radio could pick it up, like without having to put out extra power or, you know, anything like that. It was incredibly efficient, but now with like everything digital, it takes more power and more data to be able to do anything. Any idea where the call could have come from? But the thing is, you can pay, <laughs> you can charge extra for data and power for all that, so that's why the big companies like it. Old analog system could still work, not telling how the lines are set up. Call could be from anywhere on Great Bear, really. If you know what the lines and switches connect to, you could probably figure it out. Where could I find that out? Those old analog lines? But nobody even knows they're still hooked up. But nobody even knows they're still hooked up. You need an old phone company line map. No idea where you could find one, though. Must be archived somewhere. I'll keep that in mind. The old ways are the new ways again. Okay, I think that's all. Alright. Better get going. I need a horse. Oh, jeez, I'm getting thirsty. Alright. Eat and drink, man. Food and water goes fast out here. Well, food goes fast. Okay. So let's make some more water. Let's make two liters. I love the magical fires <laughs> that never go out. sleep for 12 hours because <laughs> that'll get us you know till the, through the day how many calories am I going to burn doing that though that's a lot of calories I'm going to do it I'm sleeping for 12 hours Something we a drying rack, something we can. Ugh. Is that a whetstone? No, really books. Whatever, just can't pick it up. Need a drink. Right. <laughs> How much water we have left? Alright. Well, we're gonna head out. 
outside and drop some of our stuff. And then we'll come back in and warm up and I don't know, wait for the day to Yeah, it's way too windy out here to do anything productive. 